Yes. I told you that was a fish, boys. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm an idiot. Right, guys we have made it to the fishing spot let's get some fishing on this should be fun hopefully it's a good day it's a little cold so hopefully they're biting but uh, yeah we'll see All right, guys, all loaded up and ready to go. Hopefully, we get some fish. Pulling this stuff out of the van, I just messed up my line, so I kind of jerry-rigged it. Hopefully, it's not too messed up and doesn't break if we do catch a fish. But uh, it's also been pretty chilly out. It's uh, kind of snowing right now, actually. You can't see it, but sprinkling a little snow, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get lucky here. Let's see. Alright, made a little fly change. We'll see if we can get them on this. Okay, that was either a fish or that was a uh, branch. Felt funky. Yes! I told you that was a fish, boys. Yeah. Ooh! Okay. Yes, I thought I felt one snag it. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, look at that. Nice first one of the day, guys. It wasn't on the fly that we changed to, so that was good. Oh yeah. Felt him hit once. Kind of drifted it back there, let it swing a little bit. And there he was again. Came after it. Yes. Awesome. Awesome first fish of the day, boys. Yeah, nice. All right, here he goes. Boom. See ya, buddy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm an idiot. Wasn't even recording. Well, at least we got the GoPro footage, huh?
I'm not sure how well you guys could see it, but there's a bunch of wild horses over here. It's pretty epic. They're out here like all the time walking around and I always tell people, hey, like, go oh, check out the wild horses. And they don't like believe you. They're like, those aren't wild. I'm like, yeah, well, they are. We have them out here in Nevada. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But I cannot describe how bummed I am about not pressing record on the camera, you guys. This is kind of like the one of the first dedicated like days of fishing that I'm trying to do for getting cool footage and b-roll and you know that obviously requires catching fish and I just caught a nice probably I'd say 14 to 16 inch rainbow and set the camera up to show you guys didn't press record like an idiot so at least the GoPro was going we got the hookup and everything which was tight so, there's the rest of the horses. We're gonna go look for another spot. We're in like a weird time right now where it's like cold, but it was like 60 something degrees the last few days before this. And today it's like 37. So, you know, when it starts warming up, the fish start moving in faster water. They're starting to be a little bit easier to find, but uh, it's cold today, so. Just kind of going to spots where I caught them before. So we'll see if we can get on some more. Alrighty, on the way to my next spot, I've never caught fish over here, but it's just, it looks really good. So, I'm just gonna give it a quick shot. Well, I just ran into another uh, fly fisherman, kind of literally got the same setups as I do right now. He's got a uh, indicating rod and a Euro nymphing rod, and, uh, and he said he hasn't caught anything today, and he says he fishes out here almost every day, and like I said, I think this cold front kind of throwing these fish off a little bit. It's been like in the 60s the last couple days, and today's it's like 37 when I left the house, so hey, we're uh, at least we got one, so... Uh, that's a bummer when you come out here and you get skunked. The only bummer for us today was we haven't either caught more and we didn't get that one on the stupid camera I set up. But uh, I'm at this next spot. Slower water, so maybe there'll be some holding up here. Let's see. All right. I'm gonna kinda kneel down here a little bit. There's a nice little ledge right here. I'm gonna try and float right by and see if we can pick anything up. I have caught some here before, but like I said, the fish are being real weird right now. And the temperatures are kind of throwing them all off. Alrighty guys, got too windy. Oh, that looked like a fish. So, got too windy for the other technique. We are now down the pool a little bit, or down the stream a little bit. Throwing an indicator. See if we can uh, get anything to bite on this. This is a little bit more of a guessing game right here. Kind of just throwing it in the current and hoping you put the, the fly in the fish's mouth. Or in front of their face. But, uh... It allows us to fish a lot farther and a lot more water. So, checking my depth on it right there. Alright, hopefully we'll get something. Well guys, 
All right, we got one fish, so we didn't get skunked, but that was a pretty tough day. A couple hours of fishing, one fish, pretty early, right when we got here. Probably could have got here a little earlier, would have been a little bit warmer, but hey, we got out here, we hooked into a nice one, and we forgot to turn the camera on when we uh, were showing it. At least we got it on GoPro. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna change, warm up, and let's get going kind of see here my whole foot is wet oh that's a bummer because waders are not cheap well I'll add that to the bummer list of today waders are not cheap so I either have to get them fixed or get new ones ah <sighs> dang it guys come on all right guys we've made it back home from the day of fishing like I said it was pretty fun hooked into a nice one got skunked after that went to a bunch of good spots and there's just nothing out there like i said i think it was the cold weather but it's really fun to get out there and just be on the river for a little bit i know you guys really like the fitness stuff and the nutrition stuff we will do more of those we have more of those coming but i really enjoy doing some fishing and want to explore that with you guys and show you guys so i know these videos usually don't do as well but i hope you guys do enjoy them as I love to make them and we will continue to make some more, but more fitness stuff coming up, I promise you guys. But in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the Patreon members who help support this channel, get early access to all the videos and all those of you guys who have bought the merch. Thank you for all of it. Thank you for all of the support and watching the videos. It really means a lot to me, you guys. I appreciate it very much. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.